Part 1. Why Most Learn Hacking Advice Fails First, why do 90% of hacking tutorials fail you? Because they start with download Kaylee Linux and end with you staring at a terminal like, what even is a terminal? The truth. Hacking isn't about tools. It's about understanding how systems think. Like knowing how a lock works before you pick it. Skip fundamentals and you're just a script kitty with a fancy Linux wallpaper. Ever seen those Hack the Pentagon in 5 minutes videos? Yeah, if it were that easy, my 8th grade brother would have taken over the internet by now. Part 2. Follow the actual step-by-step -step roadmap. Alright, so how do you actually learn? Forget those hack NASA by Friday promises. Real skills come from embracing the boring basics first. Start with networking fundamentals. Yes, TCP IP is sexier than it sounds. Then marry your terminal with Linux because 99% of hacking tools live there. Rename all your vacation photos via command line to feel like a supervillain. Next, Python isn't optional. Automate your excuses for not doing laundry while you learn. Then hit CTF platforms like Try Hack Me, where hacking feels like GTA but legal. And no, solving challenges doesn't make you Elliot Alderson. It makes you someone who finally read the damn manual. Specialize once you stop confusing firewalls with actual walls. Remember, skipping these steps just makes you a script kitty with identity issues. Part 3. Use free resources that don't suck. Now, free resources that won't make you question your life choices. Cisco's Netacad for networking. Think Internet Plumbing 101. Linux journey to stop fearing the terminal like it's your ex's DMs and try hack me's beginner rooms, where you hack fake websites, of course, legally. Master Python with automate the boring stuff, then graduate to hack the box when you're ready to feel like a newborn giraffe in a cyber war zone. Later, chase certs like EJPT or OSCP itself, the holy grail that turns I watch hacking tutorials into I get paid to break things legally. And almost in my every video, I have begged to join Discord communities. They'll help you when you're stuck. Then they'll roast you harder than a burnt kernel panic. Part 4. Build the ethical mindset. Non-negotiable. Ethical hacking isn't a suggestion. It's your survival armor. Think of it like this. Hacking without rules is trying to lockpick your neighbor's Wi-Fi while yelling, it's for research, through a megaphone. The FBI doesn't high-five creativity. Rule zero, never touch systems you don't own. Rule one, practice on Vulnhub HTB Labs. They're digital dojos where getting caught means restarting a VM, not hiring a lawyer. Rule two, bug bounties turn your skills into cash, so master it. Want to rebel? Be the guy who protects systems, because real power isn't breaking things. It's knowing you could, but choosing to fix them instead. Part 5. How to stay motivated when it sucks. Because motivation is the only thing that will keep you going nonstop. So, I had to include this in the video. Let's be real. Some days you'll feel like a noob who accidentally rm rekf dash their future. Good. That's the universe telling you you're leveling up. Track progress by solving one CTF challenge daily. Think of it as feeding your inner hacker gremlin after midnight. Build a janky home lab with a Raspberry Pi and a laptop, and when you finally root a box, <laughs> remember, GTA took years to build, and you didn't rob a virtual bank day one. Stay consistent and embrace the dumpster fires. 